Hey guys, how's it going? And today we have a new thing that I have been keeping from you for months now because I totally forgot. But uh, I'm back. And uh, today we are going over something pretty simple that's already been gone over quite a bit by another YouTuber because this is his thing. Um, but I just edited it a little. So this is the um, data pack called Math. It's just a math data pack. And um, I had some people that wanted this. Uh, I've been using it for a while now. The download link will be in the description. But uh, it's a math data pack with everything. It has uh, special math functions for uh, by Emerald Fire and a few by me that I'm still working on uh, that I don't have all of. Uh, but there's a there's a few. Um, and some of them do really simple stuff, and some of them do a little bit more complicated stuff if you want them. Um, if you if you want to use them, um, if you don't want to use all of this, then you just open the data pack, grab the file that you feel like using. For example, random. Uh, of course, you have to be careful because this random won't do it. <laughs> you have to grab the one from Emerald Files folder. These are the actual. These are the actual functions that do things. So if you have a world and you just want to be able to do a random number, just grab the file from here and put it into your data pack that you're making yourself. And if you want to use round, then there you go. Round is right there. Um, these are just names, and so are these. These are just name holders. Uh, they don't have the actual information in them. So if you want to use get phi or get delta, that's just really simple stuff. Uh, or if you want to use the sine or the cosine algebraic, you can just do that. Um, but yeah, so just a couple simple math functions. I didn't get to work on it too much because of the project that you most of you know about. Um, there's also using long, uh, sorry, floats. So if I do this, I can get a float number, then I can get a second, turn it into a float, have a second number, and then I click this button, and it gives me a third number. So as you can see from the signs, uh, one of the numbers should be 108213, blah, 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 blah. The second number should be 1239, blah, 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 blah. And the result should be like 94 or whatever. But some of these I messed up. Uh, on, I, I have to change these to make them work better. Um, but anyway, so the point is it works. It does work. I tested it. But um, just these commands here are bad. Uh, but anyway, so floats are useful if you want to get decimal, point, decimal numbers um, from divisions and stuff. Because see this number I have on the output is really big, but if I can convert this number um, from float to back to int, so I can do, let's see, uh, slash function math colon float slash float to int. If I do that, see, I get an output of four, but um, you get weird things as your output if you... Um, if you do the float to int and you're not handling the decimals properly. So most people aren't going to use floats, but there's some cool things like there's math underscore, well, math init is just the initialization. There's only a few scoreboards for each one. I tried to make it as um, optimal as possible. So the init does have quite a bit of constants. So if you already have a constant scoreboard, then this won't mess with it. There's this many scoreboards for, um, for the for some different things, the temp ones are not for random number generator. Temps are useful for if you just want a temporary number. They're for mainly the float device, and then this is for the trig uh, stuff. There's only three scores for that, so I can do math trig slash theta, and uh, if I do scoreboard generator sidebar theta, I have a theta of 125, which is true. Wait. There we go. Uh, it outputs it to, let me see. What does theta do? CloudWolf, get theta. And then, what does this theta do? Oh, okay. Well, you see, obviously, there's some minor bugs that I need to fix, like that. <laughs> um, but most of them do work. Sorry if that seems a bit weird. Um, but most of them do work, so you can just, if I do this, get theta, then it'll give me... Oh, 
if I do this, trig theta gives me 96. And then I do cosine algebraic, and it should give me on the cosine scoreboard the algebraic cosine times a thousand. So um, the cosine of negative 95, um, the, something to keep in mind is these are algebraic cosine and sine, so they only work between 0 and 90. So you would need to shift your angle because you can't do the cosine of 95. But you can do the cosine of uh, 45. If I do that, then I do that. It sh will give me this number, which is the r basically root 2 over 2. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, the main thing that most people are going to use is the random, but there's some other things I'm working on. I might have a newer video if I make some new stuff with this. Um, but yeah, this is a 1.13 version of the math data pack, so you can just get it. If you're wondering progress on other things, um, I've got... Uh, the server is like mostly done. I'm just adding some things to make it actually work. Uh, I got about, I gotta just get a plug in or two so that I can connect inventories across servers. So, but it, it's working. It's, uh, it's almost done. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.